All right, so I've been working on this project for the past two or three days, I would say. Um, right behind me, I laid all these brick papers out. I have 49 of them to be exact. I had to move them all individually. And yeah, I have I have a wheelbarrow. I could probably put a couple in at a time, but to do that, to move them from that maple tree all the way around, it, it just seemed like it was too much work because I have a gate here, but we have a dog, so I don't want to leave that open for too long or forget that it's open. So had to manually carry a couple at a time. And these papers were just kind of sitting there between the grass and the side gravel driveway that goes all the way back. It was just kind of in a, it didn't really seem to make a whole lot of sense. It just didn't really look all that good. So we're gonna redo this whole back section next year anyways. So figure I needed something here and it was just this black trim. So I pulled that up, that edging, and um, I carried all these pavers in. The hardest part was honestly lining these up straight and flat. So you can see some of them, they're kind of lifted up a little bit because it's not level ground here. You got the grass and then you got where it meets the soil. So I had to put a couple rocks under here temporarily just to kind of level it out. And then I ideally want to put some more soil underneath here. So they're all flat. <clears throat> um, and then as you can see, I still have a lot of rocks I got to take care of, but um, and then I'm going to be cleaning out some more of the debris, some of the branches still from all the bushes that were trimmed down. So um, get the leaves out of here, get a power washer and clean these off maybe in the spring. I did a video recently. Look how clean this one looks compared to the others. I mean, you can just clearly see the difference. I just use a sander on it or a angle grinder with a flap disc sander. Now I'm not going to do that for all, all of these. It's just going to take way too much time. Plus it wears down the uh, sandpaper quickly so i was just curious i wanted to try it out and see if it worked so power washer is the best way to go you can see some of that you know moss build up on the side and and the hardest part honestly was keeping these level because of where the ground kind of meets uh the soil surface over there so now as far as measuring these out um what i did is i took a tape measure i just measured right from the foundation all the way to the edge of the paver here and just maintain that same distance all the way. And it came out really straight. So took a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, of course, and I still have more rocks to get out, but it's just a huge improvement um, as it was from last year. And then it's rubber mulch, right? So this black rubber mulch moved everything from the front, still working on it, um, getting this all cleared out. I'm gonna put some different rocks in here next spring. So. I want to fill this up a little bit more and uh, cover up some of those old rocks that were in there. And then I'll put a probably a half wall here to kind of cover this crap up, paint that or clean that up real well. That's hard to clean without any kind of light, you know, power washer, maybe a low PSI or paint it. I don't know yet, whatever works. So paint the foundation to match everything else. And that's pretty much it. So stay tuned for watching for more videos, more updates, more DIYs, home projects, things like that. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.